Welcome back to Ryan Speed Shop. Behind me I got my 1972 Chevelle. I'm uh, in the middle of a frame off restoration. It's been about two years since I started. Originally I bought this car it totaled, smashed the whole front end in. The radiator went into the water pump, busted the water pump all up. Frame was bent behind the engine. So when I got it, I uh, stripped it all down, started it up. It was running, idling pretty good. The transmission mount was ripped out, so the whole engine transmission were kind of crooked in the car. So I didn't want to drive it around risking messing up something. But it did run, so I pulled it apart and then started the restoration. Originally, I was going to put the frame on a frame machine, but it was bent farther than what I was comfortable with trying to straighten. Not saying it wasn't straightenable, but at that time I found a, a 71 Chevelle drag car that I could use as a donor. Had a good front end and doors, and for the most part it was kept in a garage. Just had been cut up and hacked on to be a drag car. So I bought it, brought it home, stripped it down. It had a ladder bar set up in the back with a 12 link that was kind of hacked together with the oxyacetylene torch and kind of farm welding build, I would say. So I had to cut the whole rear end off, uh, all the, cro the rear end cross member, four link hangers, like that kind of stuff. And then I took the frame that was wrecked in the front and cut all those cross members off to weld to the drag car frame. And so I made one good stock frame and then I repainted it, redid the suspension. I just went back factory, got a Raptor liner under the car uh, to give it like some kind of protection and road noise prevention a little bit. Got the whole car put back together, put new gaskets on the engine that was in it. Do much with the transmission, but clean it up, just stick it back in the car since I knew it was at one point running and driving. That was about a year and a half ago. And then since then I kind of put it off to the side, bought a house, got the project back out, start working working on it again. And then since then I've decided to change the whole build that I had. So I took the engine transmission out, built a uh, 383 LT4. I got heads that have been polished and ported. I converted a single plane intake fit on the LT4 heads. The bolt pattern was different. So I had to redrill the angles and match, match the holes on the heads with the intake. This will be the second intake I've done. I did originally for a, another LT1 I did. That one I stuck with the EFI system. So I had the injectors and the 4150 throttle body on it. And it came out really good. Got it, made it to a T56 transmission. It's like that in the car. Did a few minor modifications on the tunnel to get the transmission to fit. Then I ended up painting the whole car, finishing the body work. I'd already replaced all the sheet metal on the car. Uh, I've replaced both quarter panels, the rear deck lid panel, the trunk lid, front cowl section. And then I redid all the body work and I painted the car a frostbite blue from Chrysler. It's like the 2020, 2021 Dodge Chargers and Challengers. I seen one driving down the highway and I really liked the color. That's what uh, led me to use that color. It's real close to Fathom Blue, which was a factory color for a Chevelle. But uh, I wanted it to be a little bit different to where if I'm at a car show and there's another Chevelle that's the same color, I wanted mine to at least be somewhat different. Whether that worked or not, who knows. When I start going to car shows, maybe I'll run into a Fathom Blue one. The wheels, I'm using a 18 inch BMW M Series M Parallels. I had an extra set from when I was building my S10. These wheels bolt right up to a Chevy pattern and the, I feel like they're really good forge rims. I got a Monte Carlo Dash which is a SS Chevelle option for this year style. So it has the circle gauges instead of the sweep gauges. And then for the gauges, I'm using the Dakota Digital, which they're the VHX retro gauges. They're kind of like a limited production run that a couple companies have access to. I'm gonna take back apart the sock suspension and upgrade it, put drop springs in it, maybe some tubular arms if I got the budget for the front. The rear I already have tubular arms that are adjustable to adjust for the 66 Chevelle rear end, how the upper arms are a different length. I can adjust that in, set my pinion angle right, be good with that. And then for the brakes, I got 98 to 02 Camaro front and rear disc brakes. That way I got a bunch of woe for the go. The rear end, I'm gonna rebuild a 12 bolt positive tracker rear end out of a 66 Chevelle, so it'll be a little narrower. I'll have to see what kind of problems I'll run into with that. I originally, I thought the gear was going to be good, but the guy had it stored for a couple years and the gear got rusty. Talking to some people that mess with rear ends, they're saying the rear end's not going to be any good with that gear, so I got to swap it out. So I'm going back with a 411 gear and with the uh, 0.5 overdrive six gear of transmission, I feel like that will give me a good drivable highway gear. I'm not really going for any kind of uh, particular look i'm just going for uh, looks that i want i'm building the car for me not really for anyone else at this point originally i was trying to keep it more neutral in opinions where if someone bought it they could run with it however and change the direction and go whichever way they wanted i'm going to hold on to it i'm going to build it the way i want it and it'll probably be a better car for it hopefully i'll have this car running by summer i got a few months worth of work but slow and steady i've come a long ways from the beginning and Pretty happy with the results so far, so let's see. I'm excited to get this thing back on the road. And being the history of the car, I nicknamed the car Crash. I just felt like it was fitting and uh, makes for a good story. If you want to see more on this car and follow me through my build, just subscribe.